Today I'm going to talk about uh, this store HTML from data to MySQL database. Uh, I found it on YouTube and there is source code. Here you can see I will give a link and give a credit to that guy. Okay, that's very incredible. Thanks that guy. Uh, I can see, I can use my uh, Lonson 3A4000 CPU to try this. Uh, okay, first of all, and uh, I I need to show you about the Apache. Uh, the pri uh, the priority is the Apache. So the Apache's path is here. Uh, var slash www dot uh, slash html. So the Apache localhost the folders the four folders will all the files are uh, located there. So you just type local host and then it's the Apache you can see uh, the installation guy you can search on 9 for uh, installing on the Linux Debian or Fedora okay all right you can also see here you can see the files over there is the local host this uh, location so I type index.html so it's the same so this page is the index.html if you just type local host okay so the folder here so I can type php my admin so I can go to the php my admin which is a database management uh, you can see database management software website GUI so you don't need to install the MySQL workbench or Navicat I use this instead using the website but GUI so which is convenient save much time so you can see the form I uh, placed the files PHP files and HTML files there for my for this demonstrations for the form store HTML so you can check it out for local host form you type it so this folder folder inside there are two files forms.html and insert.php you can see it's the same so which proves that what I have said is that uh, you know the Apache location store the things when you type localhost on the web website you will link to it so check out the source code here you can see it's the HTML type and uh, the title and insert dot php the use method post which is more secure so to link to the php file and those kind of information data emails something we need to use those information and submit them to the mysql to php php to uh, link to the mysql database okay so here is the php file you can see is the php type so if uh, it's set so it's set which means that uh, you need to have those requirements otherwise they will have to else once you uh, fill out all the requirements they will proceed the username post uh, method to post the things to from HTML to the PHP uh, server the, the, uh, as you can see also the local host is the database local host would is the name of database and password of the database mysql and the database is the youtube the name and those things are also could not connect you fail those password die means cannot connect so here is else so the email you need to those things right the email is too empty someone already registered using this email if it is not empty so new record inserted successfully is all the things compile compile why compile so if uh, all fields are required if you don't uh, feel miss something so they will get the all fields are required otherwise submit the form successfully yeah or the submit the button is not set okay those are the things the cocks and my sql let me check my sql uh you can also search online for the installation of my sql there are guidelines so i have already installed it on my linux system uh so my sql 
hyphen u root hyphen p type your password and now inside the MySQL. So so databases, so you can see the all the databases are the same on the website GUI. So I use YouTube and show tables. So register the tables register in the YouTube database. So on the PHP my admin, the web GUI also the database management system also the same so you can see the register on youtube inside youtube you can also see the register tables inside there i created something and uh, also as uh, the uh, values so i have created prior to this experience they are the equivalent of those things like password id the first thing is id and the username the password gender email form code yeah those things form so they are all the values with the matching one by one to the form so the database can be the same so you can see is the integer for the first id is the integers and the length is 11 those things similar uh, normal database data and information like var chart the character those things right var chart integer big in those are the regular databases information you have to type it prior to doing your action so i delete my things that i have a few though okay this is the on the register before i tried it so i deleted first in order to let you see what i'm doing okay now it's empty and um now i would like to go to the website as the normal html website okay here right localhost the form.html so is the form the name you type I type uh, longson and the password so it is similar to the normal form right type a email and your data your information your phone number okay phone number and click submit so new record inserted successfully okay so after doing it you will uh, refresh your database you can see your mysql already inside those data and uh, information successfully so you don't need to use, uh, hand ha yourself type it right customly type it on the mysql now you can see the data here or integer all the things there store successfully by using the html form sending the information post method to the php and php connect to the mysql database together right so oh it's the form.html let me go back to the form.html to check and type another data to test it again so i type chao xin it's a Chi one of the chinese cpus as well okay and type email and test it again okay submit successfully right so i check it out you can see also Zhao Xin and those things i have entered so very successful exciting right and uh, if you don't type anything they will give you a lot so you cannot type empty and also try to type uh, another long sun also successfully created i think it's because i set uh, email if the same then you cannot you will have a note saying that the email is the same you cannot repeat but for the name i think it 
I don't set, I haven't set any rules so I can create the same name so that's the guide nice for using uh, HTML form to, to and uh, send to the PHP Apache uh, server server side Apache with the PHP server side so the PHP server side will give you the HTML code to the browser so the browser can read it with the database as well that's all for today's hope you enjoy it